What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Chicago Bulls and their journey to get a new head coach. So there have been some reports about the Bulls getting permission to speak with several assistants for the franchise head coaching job. And yeah, I'm just going to be talking about the potential coaches that the Bulls could hire based on, you know, the reports that have come out. So let's get right into it. So among the assistant coaches that were granted permission to talk to Chicago from the eliminated teams in the playoffs were a couple of Dallas Mavericks assistants such as Jamal Mosley and Steven Silas. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Philadelphia Ime Uduka. So yeah, those were just the, some of the assistants. There are some more assistants, but let's first talk about Kenny Atkinson the Bulls didn't need permission to, you know, talk to Kenny Atkinson. I think Kenny Atkinson is could be one of the better coaches in the NBA. He led that Brooklyn team to the playoffs with D'Angelo Russell and he, you know, was able to he was able to develop some of the young prospects on that Nets team and I feel like he could do the same on the Bulls. And the Bulls are interested in, you know, hiring Kenny Atkinson. There have been reports that say that say that the Bulls are gonna, you know, look at Kenny Atkinson, which is huge because like I just said, I think he's one of the better coaches in the NBA. He was one of the big reasons why the Nets team made the playoffs. I think that he could develop the young prospects. He could give the young prospects, you know, consistent minutes because when Boylan was on the team, you know, Boylan didn't really play the young players too well. And he didn't, you know, play the young players in the right spots. And he didn't, you know, he just, he was just pretty much stunting the young players' growth. But with Kenny Atkinson, I think he'll give, he'll spread out the minutes. He will spread out the playing time. And he will, you know, give the opportunities to a lot of the young players to prove themselves. So artist Connor Chauvis and general manager Mark Eversley are talking to several assistant coaches still involved in the playoffs right now. Um, including the Milwaukee Bucks, Starvin Ham, Denver Nuggets, Wes Unsell Jr., and Miami Heat's Dan Craig. So first, let me talk about Darvin Ham. Darvin Ham is currently the lead assistant coach next to, next to Mike Butenholzer on the Bucks. And as you all know, the Bucks are a really good team right now, which means that Ham knows what it takes to win. Also, he won an NBA championship in 2004 as a member of the Detroit Pistons, which also helps. Um, Ham was a role player on that team that featured four potential Hall of Famers in Chauncey Billups, Richard Hamilton, Ben Wallace, and Rasheed Wallace. That team was known for its defense and team first mentality. He meshed well with everyone on that Pistons team. Ham has also played for great basketball minds. He played with like I said, Larry Brown on the Pistons. He played for Bernie Bickerstaff and George Carl. And then as for coaching, he was also fortunate enough to coach with Phil Jackson on the Lakers. And he was just an overall really good assistant coach. And you know, he's a really respectable guy. If he comes to the Bulls, I have no doubt that, you know, everybody on the Bulls will respect him. And another coach who can also bring some winning mentality to the Bulls is Wes Unsell Jr. Um, West Unsell Jr., he's currently the lead assistant on the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets just beat the Utah Jazz in Game 7. And the Nuggets, you know, they've just been a really good team the past couple of years. They've been, you know, one of the top teams in the West. Right now, they're in the second round. They might be able to, you know, make it far into the playoffs this year. And, yeah, so West Unsell Jr. definitely has, you know, some winning mentality. He knows what it takes to win. He also learned, you know, under his dad, which was obviously once Wes Unseld Sr. Wes Unseld was a, you know, Hall of Fame player. He had a Hall of Fame career. And Wes Unseld Jr. was able to learn under him. And, you know, he was able to see what it took to be a championship player. So the last five years, um, Wes Unseld Jr. has been on the Nuggets as the assistant coach. Some of those years, he was also alongside artist Karnaschovas. He was there while Karnaschovas was on the Nuggets as well. He's a defensive-minded coach, and with guys like Chris Dunn, Wendell Carter Jr., and Daniel Gafford, and all these other players who can you know, improve on defense, I think that having a defensive-minded coach is really important for these for this Bulls team alongside a coach who can you know develop the young players 
because the Bulls, I think they have a lot of potential to become a really good defensive team, like a like a top five defensive team at their peak. Because we already saw that Wendell Carter Jr. and Chris Dunn, when they're both healthy, the Bulls were a really good defensive team, even with you know coaches like Jim Boylan, who aren't that great. They will be unstoppable on the defensive end, and they will not let up that much points. So I think that Wes Huntsell Jr. being a defensive-minded coach is really great. He also has a winning mentality. Um, he's been on this Nuggets team for a couple of years, and I think he'll be a good coach for the Bulls. So yeah, as of right now, the Bulls are continuing to search for their new head coach. They're interviewing multiple head coaching candidates, and I like a lot of these coaches that they're interviewing right now. I like Darvin Ham. I like, you know, Kenny Atkinson. But yeah, that's all I really had to talk about in this video. I really only wanted to talk about a couple of coaches. Maybe I'll talk about it, some other coaches that the Bulls are interviewing in another video, like a part two to this video. But yeah, that's all I really had to talk about in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I'll see you next time.